Welcome to Not Without Coffee with Glenn Mathis for the coffee connoisseur who wants to know more about their cup of ambition. Join Glenn as he uncovers some fun facts about coffee and coffee history, his own storied past with this bean brew, and some new coffee trends on the horizon. Glenn has his cup. It's time to grab yours and start this episode, Not Without Coffee. Here's Glenn. Hey, welcome back, brew of the crew of coffee, that is. I'm glad to have you back for another podcast episode. I'm not going to say exciting so much as calming, relaxing, and informative. This is the 10th podcast of Not Without Coffee, where we talk about coffee-related topics and a way to relax and unwind with a fresh cup of coffee. Now, here's what I want to inform you on the coffee topics and help you unwind from your work week at the best quality as possible. Uh, before we begin, let's get into that relaxing zone, you know, where we breathe in with our fresh aroma cup of coffee and exhale through the mouth. Breathe in the fresh aroma and exhale one through the mouth. One more time, we had a rough work week or was it long? Let's do another deep breath and exhale through the mouth. That is the sound of soothing relaxation. And I hear you, coffee lovers. I hear you. Now, on this particular podcast, I'm going to go over the up, the fall flavor, coffee-scented candle, and a little added bonus of something that most people, at least most coffee lovers, have never heard. It's a particular type of coffee. So stay tuned to the very end to get to that. Like I said, in the United States, we're still in the fall season. Uh, not quite halfway through it yet. And that means great fall flavor coffees. And I have a great one for you, and I know you're going to love it. I've had it myself, and it's really good. It's maple cinnamon coffee. Now, nothing says fall like maple and cinnamon. Of course, and also a little brown sugar in there. And imagine this. You're sitting on that front porch with that nice cool breeze blowing early morning, and you're sipping a fresh cup of Jamaica Blue Mountain with maple and cinnamon and a little brown sugar in it. Now, listen to the ingredients on these and tell me what you think. The ingredients sound really good. It starts with a melozio, uh, M-E-L-O-Z-I-O capsule, four ounces of heavy cream, one ounce of sweet maple syrup, one eighth teaspoon of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of brown sugar. Now, the whipped cream on top is optional. Uh, this one will take your taste buds up in a hurry. Fellow coffee lover, I will definitely have to try this one before the next podcast episode. Literally, probably tomorrow as of this recording. Now, be sure to go easy on this one. Remember that waistline thing in the past two episodes. Also, for each podcast episode I'm coming in the future, I'm going to add a new and different fall flavor. And if I don't mention a flavor that you want to hear or go with ingredients with, be sure to email me at notwithoutcoffee.com. You can get my email and get in contact with me there. Also, I'm keeping with the fall theme and coffee-related topic. Let's talk about a fall and coffee-scented candles. They do exist and can set a calming and relaxing mood. Now, I just recently bought this scent, and I love it. And it's simply called Coffee Shop. I mean, what better way to talk about coffee and candles than a candle that smells like a coffee shop? It literally smells like you work in a coffee shop. Relaxing in a Starbucks, this is the perfect scent to set that mood. The aroma your music playing, you are relaxed on that sofa, or even on a porch with a nice cool fall breeze blowing in. This definitely helps set that mood. Crew of the brew, you really should try this scent. With me, I got one that's a little more expensive, mainly because the quality of the scent. I like the scent to throw a little farther, so to speak. So whereas you walk into a room, you want to meditate, you want to just sip coffee in your quiet zone, this is the perfect candle. It is again called the coffee shop. Now remember, never leave a lit candle unattended. That can be very dangerous. And by chance, do you have a favorite coffee candle? If so, let me know. And next up, I mentioned an earlier type of coffee that very few people have ever heard about. Can you guess it? Gotta guess. Any clues out there? To be honest with you, I recently found about this myself. It's called the Pea Berry Coffee. Yep, that's right. Pea Berry Coffee. P-E-A-B-E-R-R-Y. What in the world is a pea berry coffee? Well, a pea berry coffee is a natural mutation of the coffee bean inside its cherry. 
typical coffee beans grow like two to a fruit, flat against each other. You know, like a peanut shell with the two peanut halves in it. But sometimes, on a rare occasion, in which is usually less than 5% of the world's coffee supply growing, and a bean is born to only one pea, or one child, so to speak. This bean is very rounded and shaped like, of course, a pea. It's named the pea berry. Now, I've never had this type of coffee. I have it on order. And still, some of the reviews have been really amazing about it. Of course, it is going to be pricey because of its rarity and its unusual mutation shape. The reviews have said that it's sweeter and more flavorful than a typical coffee. A lot of experts say the reason why this particular coffee, the pea berry coffee, tastes better is because of its rounder shape, which allows for them to roast more evenly, absorb the heat, and have it distributed throughout the berry for a much smoother overall taste. So it's so rare and so unique flavor. And it's, of course, you know, it's going to be costly. And it's usually hand-picked, hand-select, and averages anywhere from about 20 and up dollars, U.S. dollars per pound. Now, I've been to 10 different coffee shops and baristas, and not one of them have heard of the Peaberry coffee bean. It's definitely a must-try for me. I is on my to-do this. And also, I've even seen reviews that saying it has a really fruity type flavor to it kind of almost like even a berry or pineapple or citrus taste hence the name pea berry coffee bean and finally crew i want to leave you and i want to thank you for listening Uh, be sure to download this and future episodes upcoming podcasts i'm trying to keep them informative short and to the point i know your time is very valuable and most of all i want to put out a lot of quality for you Again, I want to thank you for listening. Take care. And if you have any ideas or comments you want me to go over about coffee-related topics, again, I am Glenn at notwithoutcoffee.com. Take care. Fellow coffee lover, thanks for listening. Be sure to tune in every Saturday morning, Central USA. Also, sharing is caring. So tell a fellow coffee lover about your new hangout. To contact us, just go to our website, www.notwithoutcoffee.com. Take care and remember to always keep brewing.